This is Helen. She is the biological mother of daughter and son. At the start of the story, Helen has primary custody of the children. She has a history of high conflict behaviors. This is Michael. He is the, the biological father of daughter and son. He is remarried to his wife Adrienne, and there have been no issues between Adrienne and the children. This is Adrienne. She is the wife of Michael and stepmother to the children. She works in the medical field and has an adult child. This story discusses medical neglect, serious health issues in children, and high conflict custody battles. Have you noticed that daughter has come down to get water every 30 minutes tonight? That's not normally like her. Yeah, but it's Christmas Eve. She's probably just excited about Santa coming tonight and trying to catch him. Maybe, but she's actually chugging every water bottle and I haven't heard the toilet flush upstairs once. And she's complaining that her stomach hurts really bad. I bet her stomach does hurt if she's been drinking all that water and she ate all those Christmas cookies a little while ago. I don't know. I just feel like something is wrong. Does your family have a history of type 1 diabetes? Not that I know of. She's five. She probably just ate too much sugar. I can call the doctor and leave a message, but no one will be in office until after Christmas. I'm about to take daughter to her pediatrician's appointment. Are you sure you don't want to come? You know Helen would have a fit if I was there. Daughter doesn't need that kind of stress on her right now. She needs to get over that. You know more about this kind of stuff than either of us, and you know exactly what to ask the doctor. Her health should matter more than Helen's pride. I agree, trust me, but I'd rather daughter just get seen and figure out what's going on as quickly and calmly as possible without anyone having to deal with the drama. I will text you what exact tests to ask for though. Okay, I'll keep you updated. Do not leave the office until you get her tested for diabetes. It may be nothing, but all of her symptoms point towards that. That can't go untreated if she is diabetic. We are en route to the hospital. The pediatrician checked her and she is in diabetic ketoacidosis. You were right. Okay, I'll get someone to watch son and I'll head that way. It's going to be all right. She's going to get what she needs and we will go from there. She can still have a normal life even as a diabetic. You won't be able to come in. The hospital is only allowing two adults in per child patient at the time. COVID protocols. Well, I will come sit in the parking lot in case you guys need me. Is Helen meeting you there? I'm trying really hard to keep it together right now. She doesn't deserve to have to live with this. She's just a kid. I know, but it will become her new normal. We will figure this out. I need you to meet me at Blank Hospital. I took daughter to the doctor because she wasn't feeling good and she has diabetic ketoacidosis and he diagnosed her as a type 1 diabetic. He sent us straight to the emergency room for treatment. I am on my way. I cannot believe you took her to the doctor without my permission. You need to run these things by me. I should have been there. I don't need permission to take her to the doctor. We have joint legal custody. And I thought she was going to have the flu or something, not this. That's why I'm telling you to come to the hospital. Honestly, this is ridiculous. I am her mother, and you definitely do need my permission before making medical decisions. How about we debate legality when our child is no longer in crisis? This isn't about custody. I understand this was a serious situation, but you do realize you are supposed to notify me if you schedule appointments in advance. 
I had already planned on taking her to the doctor after she came back from Christmas break. Yes, I get that, but I told you this morning I was taking her to the doctor, and no one could have predicted she would have been rushed to the hospital. I'm just saying, I had an appointment scheduled. You know that. I don't think you get how serious this is. If she had not received treatment for another week, she would not be here. This isn't a flu or something. Look, I get it. Everything is fine, but a little more heads up would have been appreciated. I honestly thought she was just being dramatic and having a growth spurt. Well, I think we all would have liked a heads up before this happened. But that isn't how this kind of the doctor isn't going to discharge daughter until you show them you can administer her insulin shot. So when do you want to do it? I've done all of them so far. Of course you've done them all. You are going to have her for the next few days after she's discharged. I need to know you know how to do them. I'm fine. I can do it. I've done all of the finger pricks and insulin shots, and next time it's your turn. Look, she does a great job for you. I don't want to freak her out by doing it when she's just starting. She wants her daddy to do them. That wouldn't be an issue if she lived with me all the time. But you live almost four hours away, and she's with you most of the time. Next time is your turn. Okay, calm down. I'll do it next time. Okay, sweetie. It's time to give you your insulin. Is it mom's turn, or is dad doing it again? Mom said she was going to do it this time so she would be able to get discharged sooner. I'm sure she will be back in just a minute. Let me look in the hallway and see if she's out there. Mom said she was going to get herself something to eat while you were in the bathroom and wouldn't be back in an hour or so. Can you just do it, Dad? Yeah, I can. I'm not going to make you wait. Sorry, Doctor. I thought she said she would do this one. That's all right. If she can get back here and complete one today, we can still discharge tomorrow. Just please get a hold of her and let her know she does have to administer one before discharge. She doesn't want to. She doesn't like shots. There's got to be something someone can do to make her give daughter her shot. She's managed to have an excuse every time, and we've been here for three days. She either has to take a phone call, or use the bathroom, or something as soon as it gets close to time. I can't fill drive for hours to give daughter a shot every time she eats. The first shot can be hard for some parents, especially if they have a fear of needles. I don't care if she's having a hard time. Our daughter is having a hard time. I hate this too, but being a parent isn't easy. Please, you've got to help me, or she's going to end up taking my daughter home hours away, and daughter will end up unalive from this. How about you go home? If you aren't here, she will have to give the insulin. I just checked in with the night nurse. Helen gave daughter her insulin shot finally, so she will be discharged tomorrow. It only took four days. You can't let her take daughter back to her house. If it took days to get her to give one shot, she's not going to keep up with it. Especially not since they live two hours from the endocrinologist. I know, but I spoke to our attorney that we used for the last court hearing, and he said that they won't change custody until she actively doesn't give her her insulin or neglects her care. So she gets to take daughter back to her house, and we just have to wait around for the next medical emergency before the courts will help us. I don't care what we have to do. You need to make sure she doesn't take daughter back right away. At least not until after her first appointment with the endocrinologist. Hey, I know you probably won't like this idea, and I hate the idea of splitting the kids up, but I think it would be in daughter's best interest to stay here with us until her appointment in a few weeks. 
What? Why would you even say that? You've had her for over a week now, and she needs to come back home. I know, but we are all still really new to all of this, and your house is over two hours away from her doctor and the closest children's hospital. Just in case something else happens, it may be best for her to be near resources and doctors who can help. Fine. Just until her appointment, though. I can handle her care and insulin, but I guess she can stay here until she is more used to getting daily shots. I hate being the one to do that to her at first. You guys can be the bad guys. I feel sick about sending daughter with her mom after the appointment tomorrow. I mean, she hasn't even bothered to check on her the entire time we've had her. She only talked to her when son facetimed. I know, but we have no choice. We ordered the Dexcom, and we can monitor her levels and make sure she is okay. Daughter's been handling this really well, so maybe we are overreacting. I have a whole workbook full of notes for Helen on how she acts when her blood sugar is too high or too low. And I included everything the doctor told us to look out for. Okay, and then the doctor can go over everything as well tomorrow. Maybe she'll decide it's too much work and will let her just stay with us. I highly doubt that, after she just fought to be able to move four hours away a few months ago.